Danny Gasparini and welcome to this segment of One on One. I'm joined today by David Canepa, who happens to be your vice mayor in Daly City. And we're so excited to have David with us. Uh, thanks for coming. Great to be here, Danny. So it's been a couple years. Well, not that not quite that long um, since we've had you on the program, but gosh mighty, we are talking about toll roads again with San Francisco and uh, San Mateo County border. Danny, I thought this issue was resolved um, two years ago. Um, we had elected officials from San Mateo County who told um, our officials in San Francisco that we don't want the toll. Um, that being said, um, in San Francisco's infinite and uh, grandeur wisdom, they've decided to uh, roll out a toll. Now that toll immediately doesn't affect um, the borders of San Mateo County, mm -hmm. but it affects downtown. The toll is um, $3 in, um, into the city, into the downtown area. But if you read the plan, it calls for um, other tolls throughout um, San Francisco. And the ones that affect us directly are those on the San Mateo County border. I think it's absolutely unacceptable, um, not only for the residents of Daly City that go shop, for the residents of San Francisco that go shop, but to charge a fee in these sort of um, economic times is irresponsible. Basically what's happened is, um, as I understand, a couple of years ago when the plan, this toll plan, um, it's basically a revenue plan. I mean, how, how, how can they generate revenue for the city and county of San Francisco? They came up with the toll idea, um, and that was primarily for visitors, again, coming in, um, charging a toll to get through to certain areas. That was sort of um, gone away. Now there's a new plan in place that has not only um, a toll plan for its downtown, but has sort of snuck into the uh, smaller print the idea of doing surrounding periphery tolls so that, you know, it's interesting. I mean, until you live in South San Francisco, Daly City, you don't realize how close you are to San Francisco. I mean, you, you drive five minutes and you're in another county, as I might in, in South San Mateo County be driving into Palo Alto and find myself in another county. I don't really know that I've done it, but we're that close. So to what you're saying, it's punitive to then say to the residents of Daly City in South San Francisco, we do this just to go our, to do our grocery shopping. You're, I mean, you're exactly right. I mean, one of the things that I sort of said at the time is if that San Francisco wanted to propose this idea of doing the toll, then maybe we should do a toll on their residents. Um, I think it's absolutely um, a poor idea. I don't think it's um, well planned. And to sort of tell folks that you know, you're going to charge them to generate revenue, which you just touched upon, that doesn't go to San Mateo County, but that goes to San Francisco County. There's no community benefit. Is just, it's, it's a bad plan. And who plan. would it's approve this plan? Exactly. It would go through their San Francisco Municipal Transportation Authority, which is comprised of the Board of Supervisors, mm -hmm. and then it would have to go before the Board of Supervisors um, for a final vote. And so the reason I'm raising this issue now is I want people to be aware of what their plans are so that they could take the, uh, the action to make sure that they can tell those folks in San Francisco that, you know, we're opposed to that idea. So they basically can just go to the San Francisco um, City and County website and they'll probably see something within one of the departments and they could comment, send a letter, exactly. talk about how, what this would mean to their life. What I would do is um, the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Authority, there is a director there. Her name is Tilly Chang. Mm -hmm. You could send correspondence there and to each one of the Board of Supervisors. There are 11 in um, San Francisco. Okay. And I think weighing in now is um, the most ap appropriate way of moving forward. Okay. So we'll make sure that we put that up on the website as well at the end great. of the program. Um, so let's move on to some local issues. Um, there's some great things happening in Daly City, and you're really capturing on the sort of high-tech, high-touch, um, high-communication volume with a new application that you're talking about? It's really been highly um, successful, and it's called Daily City IAP. Um, you know, unlike some other cities, Daily City hasn't been thought as a, an innovative leader in terms of technology. What we've done, Danny, and I'm extremely proud of this, um, we've rolled it out um, unanimously as a council. If you have an issue, there's a pothole. And as you know, you being a former city council member know, you can take a picture of that pothole, send it through this app, and our public works has the coordinates to go out and to fill that pothole. Um, you can communicate through the, uh, with the city council. Um, if there's a request that you have, there's garbage that wasn't picked up or mm -hmm. whatever issue it is, right. you could communicate through this app. It sits right on your Android um, application. It sits on your iPhone application. Mm -hmm. The way people communicate, usually if they have issues, it's through phone, it's through a letter. 
What we're trying to do is to work with that um, age group between um, 16 and 40 who are just using their phone, social media at a nonstop right. rate, and they can do that. Now, people, my constituents have said, well, David, how about if I still send the letter, if I still have, you know, I still call you? Of course, right. those traditional it's means... It's another way of communication. It's another way of communication, and the way this app is scaled among our constituents is incredible. The feedback we're getting, right. um, and it, it's quick and it's easy, and it's technology working. Right, and it, you know, it, I send a lot of kudos to you and your council and, and to your staff because it obviously tells the community we want to know what we can do be doing better. So we want to improve um, the look and feel of our community. So if there is a fire hazard or if mm -hmm. there is an eyesore or a blighted area, we do want to know about it. If there is graffiti on the side of a building, the faster we know about it, the faster we can get it down. Um, these are all really great, innovative, easy ways. Because, you know, I, I've thought about sending letters, too, about some neighborhood lot or, you know, some intersection. But for me to go home and then sit an email and I don't know who to write to, this is a great, great way for people to make it easy, simple, and um, I've done my community work. And you know what? You, you, you've touched on it. Everything nowadays, um, people working, it's all about convenience. And that's what the app does. It makes it more convenient for people to communicate with their local officials and local government. Right. And um, I imagine that somebody at the other end is sort of triaging the um, work. So something that is a, a real health hazard or something that is a real emergency hazard can be dealt with first. And then something that sort of needs to be on a little bit you know, longer of a list can, can do that. So it's a great way to sort of triage what's important and immediate and emergent versus what we can do cosmetically later. You're right, it's done by category. So let's say there's a pothole. Well, boom, it, you can send it right to Public Works. So it's compartmentalized mm -hmm. or it's sent to that specific department, yep. Right, and you're also now appointed to the San Mateo County Transportation Authority. It's a, it's a great, um, great appointment. There's a lot happening um, there. Tell us a little bit of what you're working on. I think one of the issues um, in San Mateo County continues to be, and that's why I'm proud to be on this board, is, you know, what are we doing around Caltrain in terms of grade separation? Mm -hmm. I think um, throughout the county, um, we have tracks and people cross those tracks, but what do we do to make sure those tracks um, are safer so that people can, can walk? And one of the things, um, you know, I'm particularly proud of and the board has really dealt with is on the San Bruno grade um, separation mm -hmm. and the separations throughout, um, you know, San Mateo County, just making it safe for, for people to, um, to cross. I think in addition to that, we're doing a lot in terms of bicycle and, and pedestrian issues, making sure that people are able to move um, throughout the county. And, you know, I take a lot of pride. There's a lot I have to learn. I'm a new board member, mm -hmm. but I think with the experience that's on the um, San Mateo County Transportation Authority, you have Roseanne Faust, you have um, Don Horsley, Carol Groom, um, it's really going to um, sort of help me in really understanding those issues. So I'm really appreciative to be right. on that board. And the TA, of course, is um, at the forefront of all of our housing issues, mm -hmm. um, jobs and economics. So it really starts um, with our ability to move about um, our county and, and in and out of our county. So and one of the things I, I, one of the things I hear, Danny, especially from um, residents who live in North County, because of the, the home prices that go up, um, the second or third generation person who lives there um, their families might have lived there and grown up, and these are my friends. They can't afford to live in the county, and that's due to the high um, high housing costs. And I think if we're able to create um, affordable and sustainable housing, rather than those people moving to other parts of the Bay Area, they'll be able to stay here. Right. And I think we need to ensure that. And people need to realize that transportation is, is one of the key components of being able to do that. So we've just got a minute left, um, and so we either can talk about open space in, uh, in and around Daly City, or we can talk about what's your future plans. I'll leave it up to you. We'll talk about what's in the future. Look, I think, you know, being a, a fourth and uh, generation San Mateo County resident, I take great pride in this county. Mm -hmm. And people are always saying, you know, what is your next step? What are you planning to do? And I think um, for me, I'm really just focused on what I'm doing um, as the Daly City Vice Mayor. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you know, if I'm good enough as Vice Mayor, I, I, I can ascend to Mayor. But I'm just really passionate about this county. And I just want to ensure that... Um, you know, I remember my great grandfather came here with nothing, mm -hmm. just ensuring that, um, you know, the legacy of San Mateo County continues, and I'm committed to that. And it is with you. Great. Thank you so much for being on the show, and we'll see all of you next time. We're out of time on One on One.